Hey guys, Ms. Pasco here. So we're starting off electricity and magnetism, and I want to show you some objects that relate to electricity, okay? So there'll be notes posted on the Google Classroom, and we're going to go section by section, and this is topic one. So for topic one, um, it's all about just the basics of electricity. And if we look around our homes, we can find different things that use electricity, right? But there's some parts of them that you might not have thought about before. So if you look here, see how this has 40W, what does that mean? And 120V, what does that mean? And we can compare that to woo, turtle. These numbers are different depending on what appliances we look at. So this one is only 7W. Why is this only 7W? What's up with that? And then different types of outlets and plugs. So when you look, why are some outlets like this with just the two prongs? And some are like that where they've got three. What the heck is the point of that third one, right? So we see how they're different on both the input and output sides. Okay. Um, another thing to kind of think about is wires. So we look at this, why are some wires so large and others are so super skinny, okay? So there's just a ton of stuff in our daily lives uh, related to electricity. So it's really good to know more about it and that's what this is all about. Okay, so let's go through some of the notes. Again, this is topic one. All right. So electricity and magnetism, unit notes outline. So this notes presentation should be viewed as an outline and review tool, okay? Um, as we go through, this is what this video is on the basics. What is electricity? How does electricity travel? What are conductors and insulators? What's static electricity? And how do electric charges interact with each other? All right, again, keeping these as our core questions. Okay, so, Electricity is literally just moving electrons. So we talked about atoms and protons and neutrons and electrons back in chemistry. And if we look, here's an example of one atom. And in some materials, the electrons in the outer shells can actually jump from atom to atom to atom. All right. And when that happens, you start getting this flow of electrons through the material. That's what electricity is. Okay. So electron, uh, <laughs> electricity is just moving electrons. Electricity travels through materials that allow electrons to flow or jump from one atom to the next. Now there's two videos down here. I put videos throughout this whole presentation. Watch them, okay? Um, they're extra information, they're really helpful. Um, some of them are like the simple versus the complex explanation, so it's always worth checking out the videos that are in these slides, okay? All right, so conductors versus insulators. So materials that allow electric current to pass through them are known as conductors, okay? They hold onto their electrons really loosely, so electrons can jump between the materials' um, atoms really easily, and that's how the electricity flows. So copper, iron, aluminum, all of these are examples of really good conductors, and you probably know this from middle school. Um, insulators, on the other hand, don't allow their electrons to jump around. They hold onto them really tightly, because again, some atoms just really cling to their electrons. So when we look at a wire, for example, like the wires in a headphone, okay? What you'll feel when you hold a wire is hopefully <laughs> rubber or plastic. That's because that material won't let electricity pass through it. And then on the inside of that wire, you have the conductive material. Okay. So wires are an example of conductors wrapped with insulators. It's a safety thing. It's an efficiency thing. Um, and that's just what you'll find no matter what kind of wire you're looking at. Okay. Again, two videos. Now this online interactive, okay, is great. You have to click to allow the Adobe Flash Player to work. That's okay. Allow. Ooh. Okay, so this is just a little simple thing to let you kind of putz around and check, hey, are different things insulators or conductors? So you click and drag and see what happens. Okay, so, oh, that did not work. What about this? Ta-da! <laughs> so, Go back, go back, go back. Still working on how to do this properly. Okay, so um, when you look at the next slide, all right, then we start talking about static electricity. So you've definitely encountered static electricity, whether or not you realized it was electricity. So static electricity is the result of an imbalance between negative and positive charges in an object. These charges can build up on the surface of an object until they find a way to be released or discharged. So if you've ever walked across a carpet and then touched a metal object or another person, that zap that you felt, that was static electricity. And it was literally 
just a really large number of electrons jumping from one thing to another, okay? Um, this thing, the Van der Graaff machine, um, if you touch it, it'll pass electrons into you, but in a safe quantity. So this little kid has static electricity making his hair stand up, okay? Lightning, just a huge example of static electricity, all right? And then over here, just a cartoon. Now this interactive. Oh, yeah, this is a good one, okay. So with this interactive, okay, you can actually see how the static electricity works. Now notice you can show all the charges, show no charges, show charge differences. So we're gonna do show all charges. And notice there's relatively balanced amounts of protons and electrons um, in most materials. So if you take a balloon and you do something like rub it against a sweater, it won't collect all the electrons, but it'll collect the ones that are on the loose surface things. Now remember, how do like charges and unlike charges act? Well. Look what's happening on the wall, okay? So the electrons are actually being repelled a little bit. And because of that, these guys are repelled over here, these electrons are collected over here, and you have this attraction going on between the positive and the negative. All right, and you can do a bunch of different things. Remove the wall, use two balloons. So I'll let you guys explore that on your own. Okay, all right, so um, in your own house, you can actually manipulate static electricity safely, okay? So by rubbing one material against another, you can transfer electrons. Now, usually you're going to find like a loose material like hair, okay? Like a lot of little fibers and a lot of surface area or fur or like a fluffy sweater or a carpet. So something with fibers on it that you can rub the electrons off of that high surface area, okay? And then see what happens. Notice sticking to the poor cat. If you charge up a balloon and a can, you can actually kind of get them to um, attract to each other. So try that out. Okay. So interaction of electric charges, it's good to remember um, just the basics. Like charges repel each other. So a positive will push away from another positive, meaning repel. A negative will repel another negative, and then opposites attract. Okay, so positives and negatives attract. All right. So. That is the basics of electricity, and I hope that was helpful to you guys. Make sure you can go back and answer each of these questions. Um, there's a Google Doc that will be available to you guys so you can edit and type in your answers to those questions, okay? All right, I hope this helped, and check out each of those videos before we go to topic number two.